everybody, Josh RV Nerd, of Vicious RV, here with a brand new GeoPro floor plan for you. And, you know, Rockwood and Flagstaff have just been crushing the front kitchen kind of concept for a while, and they brought that down to the little GeoPro series here with a couple kind of surprising features. I don't know if it's crazy, I don't know if it's awesome, it might be crazy awesome, it might just be weird, I'm not sure. But what they did here is you've got a whole, you know, front kitchen wrapped around this thing, which plays perfectly with the windshield they have inset into their nose caps. But in the back of this thing, you've got a 60 by 80 true uh, queen bed, which is hard to find in a lot of the Rockwood and Flagstaff GeoPro EPro kind of series. But what's almost interesting is, interesting-er is there's a flip up down bunk above that, but because they didn't shove that bunk in like the radius nose of the trailer like so many brands do, it actually is pretty functional and pretty useful. And it goes side to side of the trailer. So, you know, a taller kid could fit on here or you could just use it for cargo space or a cat den or you could use that for like a duffel bag shelf or something like that. Like this could be a solo camper. It could be a couple's model. It could be one of those things where maybe you're a single parent who sometimes has your kids, sometimes don't. Single parents don't get enough attention in the RV industry. There's a lot of them out there who are just trying to go out and have a good time with their kids. But along with that, uh, you may have noticed all the mini, like all the Rockwoods now, including the Geo Pros, all have slam latches. That is like a main request that I heard from so many people. I finally got tired of arguing about it. They said, fine, here's your slam latches. They've also improved the stabilizer jacks versus last year, which is another thing that I like to see, especially on a little trailer like this keeping little single axle stable that can be a really hard tricky find this model is available with the power package so if you want that 600 watts of juice hey see you, anthony sorry i'm talking to people over here uh, if you want that 600 watts of juice you want to be able to run the air off grid for a little bit keep in mind this is a model that's capable of doing that even a very interesting almost split outside camp kitchen like i said uh, uh, well and of course the most important thing this rv has the junk in the trunk storage system Whenever I'm in something weird and new and goofy and crazy and, you know, like, I, I don't know where to begin, basically, I kind of practice the concept of when in doubt, sit it out. And I park my butt over here, right at, like, in this case, the sofa, the primary seat, to kind of give you a look of how is this RV going to look when you're actually sitting in it. Because a lot of times when you watch videos or something like this, or even when you're shopping in RV, you're, you're looking at it from someone else's perspective. Unless you actually sit down and go through the motions and pretend to use the thing, it doesn't quite feel the same. So, I don't know, it just kind of made sense to me there. Now, this, the front kitchen, this is a little bit interesting. It's uh, You got the fridge in the slide over there, and that is a 12-volt fridge, by the way. You have very precious little uh, overhead upper cabinet space, but you've got fantastic counter space here. Better counter space, frankly, and I've seen a lot, lot bigger campers. And notice they have both a full microwave and a full 21-inch oven. They didn't even go 16-inch Easy Bake oven. They went full-size oven on this thing. And I just, that's not a common thing I usually find. These are, GeoPros, by the way, are going to be carpetless and ventless. They're very pet friendly, very easy cleaning too, even if you don't have a pet. And you're going to hear me say it a bunch of times and gush over it probably. Front windows, front windshields, and front kitchens, oh, they, they go together. They go together very, very nicely, I think. Like peanut butter, chocolate, or I don't know, Forrest Gump said peas and carrots, whatever kind of works for you, I suppose. Now, the fridge is over there in the slide. Um, you might look at this, because this is just a conventional jackknife sofa, and some people are going to say, man, it would be really cool like if I could put a theater seat there. Later in the video, I'm going to actually lift that sofa up and show you why you can't put a theater seat in there, because the slide out does not go all the way down to the floor. It actually has to hover above the wheel well. But that 32-inch screen, that is pretty... Actually, if I'm going to be ultra nitpicky, I almost wish it was lowered, like 6 inches, 12 inches. When you're sitting at the sofa, it is a little bit high, but it's not terrible. I've definitely seen worse in a lot of RVs that also run a lot more money. And that is all 12-volt, by the way. It has an integrated sound bar and everything else, but all your real main controls and everything are going to be right over here uh, by the door. Now, there is a, sh a privacy shade in the entry door window. It slides up from uh, bottom up, basically. We'll see. Yeah, it slides up from the top down. You know, it's, it's, I'm... I'm <sighs> Never mind me. <laughs> In case you're curious, uh, the two black circles at the bottom, that's where your heat's coming from. And this was a very interesting surprise back here. 60 by 80 true queen bed. I just didn't necessarily see that coming myself. 
Um, one of the other things that's kind of interesting is that you do have this flip up down bunk right here. Now I prepared some footage to show you this thing folded down, but I screwed myself up. But as you can see with the double gas struts, even with my sweaty left chicken arm, even I can put that thing up and down. And it does have double kind of lock pins to keep it in place. What is also very cool is both in the bathroom and up here, you get those big XL vent fans. And I thought that was a very, well, no pun intended, cool find. It sounds a lot more like the pun actually is intended when you say no pun intended first, doesn't it? It wasn't my intention, <laughs> as I said. Anyway, um, to the left of that, you actually do have a hanging closet. And then down below uh, the bed, you have a, uh, a little dresser drawer. So there's not massive personal clothing storage in this, but there's also not zero. And I think that that's an uh, important distinction. Now, um... The uh, RV is, has a very interesting quality. Like, you might notice a very severe arch on that wall right there. The sidewalls of this are actually only six foot one tall. But you might notice that big extreme vaulted ceiling. It's dual two and a half inch uh, vaulted sections that actually seam together. And if you want to have a better understanding of that, I have a full video tour of uh, GeoPro factory production where you get to see these things without the skin, even down to the raw chassis. So I've got a whole bunch of different stuff there for you. Something else I have for you right now here today, right about now, is actually taking a look at the storage that we do have in here starting up top. Still pocket screwed uh, cabinet styles and rails, which is nice. And again, the total space that they used uh, down below the uh, countertop level, I thought was pretty sharp. The uh, the refrigerator, again, it's, uh, I never remember the size of this. It's like 5.7, 5.3 cubic foot, something like that. But it's 12 volt. And they intentionally went with not a giant monster fridge because it's not a giant monster camper. And that also means it's not going to be a, a juice sucking power hog if you're going to be off grid a little bit. So, you know, handy things there. And um, the power that comes in from your vehicle's seven way pigtail plug is more than enough to run that. Some people say, well, will the solar, the solar keep it running in transit? transit either. You can have no solar on a camper. And as long as you're getting power from the pigtail seven way plug on your vehicle, the fridge is going to run in transit. That is one of the reasons 12 volt refrigerators are so, so fantastic for travel use. Now over here, you saw that it includes that handy lagoon table, but I also wanted to show you how it brackets on the front. What they didn't do is just screw it into the, the sofa base like everybody else does. And inevitably somebody leans forward on it and rips the screws out of it. They purpose built uh, the, the way that this whole thing hooks up. And I'm eyeballing it right now. I think we might actually get away with some decent travel access. Stand by. Matter of fact, I when I first looked at this model, I said, uh-oh. As soon as I close the slide for road mode, everyone's going to be like, nope, that sucks. I'm out of here. It's a little tight, but it's not bad. You can slip back here. Uh, you can get to the bed. You can, uh, generally speaking, open this bathroom door and slide through there. Chances are enough to do what you need to do. If you are a person of stature, that may be a little bit more of a problem. And this is the type of slide system you do not want to open partially. But one of the other cool things with this being a narrow body camper, if you're careful in how you park in a parking space, you can still actually deploy the slide and stay within the bounds of uh, your parking space, which is actually kind of cool. And the kitchen is 100% accessible and functional. This actually has some good traveling feature, wow. And when it comes to towing one of these, you gotta remember it's just under 3,800 pounds dry. You're gonna put cargo into it. Uh, I'm gonna say, you know, if you had like a 5,500 pound tow rating and the further north of that the ha you have, the happier you're probably gonna be when it comes to something like this. Now that, uh, I tell you, with that front kitchen, that nose cap that they used, the windshield, it just, oh, chef's kiss. That just played uh, along very nicely. Now, single axles over here don't usually have things like dual propane tanks. That's one of those Rockwood doing Rockwood things you don't often find. And the better stabilizers, uh, these strong arm, uh, you know, quick drop stabilizer jack things right here, they are fantastic. They really take the wiggle jiggle out of the RV. And if you want to get like a little, um, what do I want to say? One of those electric drills. They actually are rated to be used with one of those. Now over here, this is kind of cool. You have an outside fridge and in the back you have the rest of the camp kitchen, but it's kind of split up. But they did what they could where they could. What is also nice though, 
it's a you know small RV that has frankly a pretty respectable awning. I've actually seen some fifth wheels with a little bit shorter awnings than these, albeit rarely, but I, I have seen them in my time. Now, sometimes people ask me, you know, where's the spare tire and stuff? Well, they belly mount the spare tire on these and actually mounted right behind that is one of those stinky, slinky sewer tubes. So you don't got to get pink eye mixing your black tank stuff with everything else. Now, uh, GeoPro always has been uh, what I call dual Asdell. So Asdell on the inside and outside layers of the sidewall. So they're not using like wood product in the wall, basically. They are using a plywood tongue and groove floor, but I don't think a lot of people get really upset about that because it is pretty darn strong and it does uh, hold up very nicely. I also really do like how you have a pair of pretty good big windows blowing air straight across the, uh, the bedroom space. And I'm shoved back in the corner the best I can get here. I wish I could get you a nice broadside view of it, but we just don't quite have the space to do it today. Now on the back here, uh, you may not have noticed a water fixture for the camp kitchen yet. On the back is a full hot cold outside utility sprayer shower thing and the little coily hose is actually included with it over here. We've got a neatly, well not neatly, <laughs> displayed in the junk in the trunk storage area. Um, oops, I'm bumping into a fifth wheel kingpin behind me right here. Uh, kind of like Spider-Man likes to bump into a kingpin all the time in his little adventures, but uh, kind of the same, but not at all, really. What I'm getting at is you've got, you know, a nice chunk of little outside storage area that little campers very often do not have. And as you saw in the beginning of our video up top there, your big XL bath fans uh, have those uh, vent covers, and you've got at least 200 watts of solar. But that's the thing. That's where this starts. This has 200 watts of solar and an 1800 watt inverter, which is... 200 watts of solar and 1800 watts of inversion more than a lot of trailers have especially in a single axle class this is uh they do have the option for their power package if you're not familiar with that it's like 600 watts of solar big old giant master volt battery um and a uh, a large inverter and a different kind of air conditioner that uh you know it, it actually can run just off battery power albeit for a limited time people always then ask me well how long well I don't know, a few hours to maybe a few more hours. It just really depends on a lot of ambient conditions and, and your total use of the RV. So thanks again for tuning in. Let me know what you think about this one. Do you think this one really has wings or do you think she's gonna fall? I'm not sure. It's got, like I said, some really good qualities, a couple that I don't think you're gonna like. And I like to point both of those out so you can make your best and most educated decision possible. And if you prefer that, if you like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're kind of curious, whether you're curious or serious, check the links in the description or scan that QR code there on the screen with your phone and you can see uh, where we have one of these in stock and how much we're asking at any given point. And if we're sold out, call our team. We can get you some figures. And until next time, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Thank you.